Hello, my name is Todd Vieira, Vice President of Customer Engagements at BrainChip. Here, we're to looking today to show you Akita technology. And our first demonstration we have is our FOMO demo with multiple object detection. And this is used for like an industrial IoT application. So as you can see on this turntable, we have multiple vitamins. And Akita is actually inferencing at around 50 millijoules per inference at about 14 um, microseconds. And you can see here, we're picking up the vitamin K, vitamin B, vitamin C, and zinc. And if you look in the screen, we're actually not picking up the M&M or the USB key. And this is a really nice demo using multiple objects, not just a single object. So now that we have seen FOMO, we actually have another application with one of our software partners called Inviso. And they have an in-cabin demonstration using their software and our algorithms. And for this, I'm gonna bring Neil in here to uh, use his facial expressions. It's not only gonna do a head pose, so you can see it's looking at the eyes, it's looking at the direction as he moves his head, but it's also looking at his emotions. So there are various emotions in this demonstration. It's happy, you can do sad, there's uh, anger and disgust, a little bit harder to do, but this is a really good demonstration for an in-cabin application for cars or in-house, any type of applications where it's not only looking at emotions, but head or body pose. In this system, this is an Intel x86, one of our development systems, is used for any developer who wants to write code and build their networks and models on our Akita board. Inside here, you can see it's an x86 board, but all the inferencing is done on the Akita chip right here. So that's where you're seeing the, you know, one millijoules per inference, as well as the 14 milliseconds of latency. Over here on the right-hand side, we have an ARM-based processor and using a um, Raspberry Pi board with the Akita chip. Inferencing here at about 376 frames per second, and it's using the same board with an ARM-based processor. BrainChip's Akita is processor agnostic. So if you're implementing your design in an SOC, you can use um, ARM, you can use RISC-V, sci 5 or any other processors you're using. And as the system's on a chip, we actually have development boards that'll work both in an x86 environment as well as RISC-Vs on the system side. 